Hello, friends. I don't know about you, but I needed a little dose of love uh, today, and so I have some scriptures for us about, first of all, God's love for us, and then how he wants to work through us uh, to love other people. And so Romans 5, 5 says, Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. And that's good to know. We've got the love of God in us because we have the Holy Spirit in us. But the one I wanted to read to, for you today was out of 1 Corinthians. And this is 13, uh, verses 4 through 8. And I got the amplified version again for us because it amplifies out the meaning of the Greek. Here's what it says. Love endures long and is patient and kind. That's the love God has in you for dealing with other people. Love never is envious nor boils over with jealousy. It is not boastful or vainglorious, does not display itself haughtily. It is not conceited, arrogant, and inflated with pride. It is not rude or unmannerly and does not act unbecomingly. Love, God's love in us, does not insist on its own rights or its own way, for it is not self-seeking. It is not touchy or fretful or resentful. It takes no account of the evil done to us, it pays no attention to any suffered wrong. It does not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Love bears up under anything and everything that comes, is ever ready to believe the best in every person. Its hopes are fadeless under all circumstances, and it endures everything without weakening. Love, God's love in us, never fails, never fades out, or becomes obsolete or comes to an end. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that your love in us is going to be expanded in our lives as we deal with situations you have us put in. So we thank you, God, for that love now, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.